Welcome to Tech Notice, my friends. So you are looking for a motherboard, a perfect motherboard for your creative PC. The PC is not creative, you know, you're doing creative workflow and creative work on your PC. There is an actual difference when you are utilizing or optimizing your PC for creative things instead of gaming purposes. So you don't have to look any further because this motherboard over here, oh, I just don't have any words to just say all for this intro. It's amazing. I would consider this the best bang for buck motherboard for the creators and here's why. So let me give you the cherry on top of the cake before I actually cook or bake the cake for you. So here's the thing, when going with Ryzen, one of the main downsides is a Thunderbolt support because so far there hasn't been any Thunderbolt support. And I know that a lot of creators are coming from Intel or actually are just in their creative workflow. There is a lot of Thunderbolt devices or needs for Thunderbolt 3. And here's the thing, this is the first or at least one of the main first ones that actually have supported official support and actually working Thunderbolt 3 ports over here. See them two over here, these two USB-C ports, they're called Thunderbolt 3, which means you can have a Ryzen system with Thunderbolt 3. Look no further. Let me tell you a little bit more about this motherboard because when I saw this motherboard, I thought, I wish I knew about this motherboard before because I would have got it for myself. So if you want to see maybe some of the future builds and if you would like me to use this for a future builds, then please hit subscribe and comment below say, I'd like to see this motherboard in a future build because it is also absolutely gorgeous. We know this Thunderbolt 3. Now let me talk about the looks. The looks are absolutely fantastic. Look at this minimalistic design. I like how it's like simple and like modern and there's not like big gaming or dragons or some like lines and loads of RGB. There's no RGB on here. The only thing that kind of is RGB is this like debug LED over here that will show you like, you know, your CPU temperature or like different error codes things showing you whether your motherboard is working perfectly. But this is the only bit of like LED you have. The rest of it is just black and white, but it's very like minimalistic white and black. Like usually you plug in your CPU power on the top over here, but with this over here, they've just added this random plastic thing to cover up this, these pods or USB, your uh, CPU power so that it would look fantastic. So now when you, once you've plugged your CPU in over there, you just click it back in and then now you have this one cable less showing, if you know what I mean? Most like Apple-like design. So what else do you want from a motherboard meant for creators? Thunderbolt 3 is one of the main things. What else do you want really? So Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5 is what we would like. And you're probably already wondering from this upper angle, what the heck is this over here? Is that like a mini PS5? PlayStation 5 over here? No, check this out. This is the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth antenna for this motherboard. Look how cool does this look? Honestly, uh, you haven't seen a more beautiful motherboard and more beautiful design over here. Plus, this is a magnetic over here, magnetic design. If you want to put it somewhere with magnets on the back, you can just stick it anywhere. Someone's really thought about making a, this Wi-Fi antenna and how cool is that? It just fits with the design. How many times have I said how cool is that already? Another thing is you've got plenty of USB ports over here and if you need to extend them or get some kind of other, you know, USB-C dongle with your USB-C's extension, then you can have this over here. Obviously, you've got your audio connectors, surround sound over here, as well as DisplayPort in and HDMI 2.1. There is two M.2 slots on the motherboard, one PCIe 4, one PCIe Gen 3. There is these two PCIe Express slots over here. Both of them are PCIe Gen 4 Express slots. So that is fantastic as well. The only random thing over here is this Wi-Fi card, which is a bit green, but I don't know why it's there. Maybe they've thought that, you know, you can upgrade it yourself as well, but it's a bit random because it goes underneath there. Anyway, we have four uh, RAM slots over here, and this is not just any RAM. This board supports also ECC memory. Most of the gaming motherboards and most of the motherboards over there don't support that, especially with Ryzen processors. Ryzen processors do support ECC memory. It's up to the board manufacturers who want to actually implement that feature on their motherboards, and this one supports that. This here is a chipset cooler design, and this is a fanless design. It's a massive heatsink over here. It looks absolutely gorgeous as well. You've got four SATA ports over here. You have some upgrade options for, you know, your SSDs and things like that. Not six, unfortunately, but four. 
Another cool thing that this does have is there is a lot of fan pods. There is six system fan pods on this motherboard, as well as one CPU fan pod and one AIO pump pod. Also, I forgot to mention, if you're looking for ethernet, then there is two one gigabit ethernet Intel pods over here which is fantastic. So if you have a NAS or something like that, you can connect it to that one, even though I would use the Thunderbolt ports because they're much faster and you can actually edit from your NAS straight with this motherboard, which is fantastic. Now you're wondering about the price of this, right? If you remember, I did the Mac Pro Killer build and we went with the MSI X570 creation motherboard, which costs about 450 pounds or 420 pounds. It's extremely, extremely expensive. And one of the main features why it is expensive is uh, the overclocking features and the RAM support and things like that. But for a creator, why it is called a creation is, I think, because it has a 10 gigabit ethernet port on the back. When going with this one, which has Thunderbolt 3 ports, which are even faster than 10 gigabit ethernet, you can go with this motherboard and you could save almost half of that price because this motherboard is pretty much half of the MSI X570 creation motherboard. This motherboard over here in the UK costs about £250 or if in the US $250. I can't believe I haven't heard about this motherboard before. Now also the interesting thing is if you want to go with Intel system and you want to go with Intel's 10th gen processor to get more PCIe Express lanes and things like that, then there is a Z490 board of this exact same kind of Vision D design. Uh, it looks slightly different but basically if you want to go Intel way you can get an Intel board that looks exactly the same with similar features and things like that. Why this board is so special is that you have the AMD socket, AM4 socket, which means that you can even get the new 5000 series processors and get an unbelievable performance, better than Intel, as you probably already know, and you have the Thunderbolt support. These two together, poof, mind blown, you're absolutely flying with this. Now, I don't think you can get any better motherboards for the same price point or even when you're going cheaper or more expensive you don't get these features now these thunderbolt ports have actually been tested by the puget bench and when i was just browsing around on their website i saw that they really recommend this motherboard and that's why i thought man i need to tell you about this because if i was you i really wish someone told me about this motherboard because i would have got this for myself before your new 5000 series amd processors can go in there and compared with this motherboard, Thunderbolt 3, you know, you're flying, this is like amazing. There is not really much more that you want from a motherboard and that's why I think this is a perfect, perfect motherboard for your you creators out there. Another cool thing is that if you wanna go with the same design RAM for this over here, then Gigabyte has actually designed specific RAM that is 3200 megahertz RAM DDR4 that goes into here and as you can see on this B-roll, it just looks so gorgeous like i just can't get over it how nice this board looks and it's awesome almost like an art piece it's almost like an art piece itself where it just looks gorgeous and with this ram each stick is 32 gigabytes if you get two of them it's a dual channel memory you get 64 gigabytes and later on you can upgrade it even more to get 128 gigabytes of ram so here's the thing there isn't a motherboard on the threadripper system that supports thunderbolt 3 which means that now with these new 5000 series processors they are so good at single thread performance and multi-thread performance they're almost reaching to the threadripper league and most of the applications, there isn't that much difference whether you're going with the 5000 series processors like the highest you can get 5950X or Threadripper. But the reason why you should go with this system is the Thunderbolt 3 support, which this board gives you. That's why it is so amazing. Plus it looks absolutely fantastic and it costs so much less than Threadripper. Okay, I don't know if this is getting across, but I am super, super excited about this motherboard and super just buzzing how awesome this looks. If you wanna check this out, I'm gonna leave the link for this board in the description as well as this RAM in the description if you wanna check it out because it's just something you should be checking out if you're building a PC for your creative purposes. Thank you very much guys for watching this video. My question to you is, did you know that this board actually is, exists and you can get Thunderbolt 3 on AM4 socket? I didn't. Anyway, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and, and I'll see you next time. If you have any questions, I'll meet you in the comment section below. Adios.